Hello, in this demonstration, we will show how to change the project in minimum time. Once the project is done, we don't need to spend a lot of time updating it. So if you get new requirements for your existing project, even the project is very complicated based on the capabilities like validation, simulation, and others and traceability, you can actually implement the change, track the impact and check your model in the minimum time. So here we see demonstration in the project, which is a high pressure injection system. This is critical water cooling system with redundant cooling lines. As you can see, solution architecture is here, redundant cooling lines, uh, tank, pump, uh, valves, um, providing the water for the heat sinks. Um, and uh, here we see the project, which is in the SysML using magic grid method and framework. And from the stakeholder needs translate you through the logical and functional analysis to the solution architecture. We'll demonstrate in this project automatic validation simulation on the change. So what are the change? So we'll have two requests. One request will be water reservoir depletion time shall change from uh, expected depletion time from 200 seconds to 190 seconds. So what should be the size in order to deplete the reservoir without refill in the given time and cooling water flow rate will change from 0 0.6 to 0 0.5 kilogram per second. So second request will be pipe length in redundant cooling clients will change from 20 meters to 30 meters each. So how the change is implemented. So pretty much here we see the path through the change. First of all, we receive the updated uh, stakeholder needs. So we get those updated stakeholder needs. They can come from the external source. Then we check impact and update logical analysis model and architecture. So we do the, uh, in our case, uh, uh, flow uh, analysis, how long it takes for given uh, tank to deplete and given a mass flow rate. And then we update the system requirements based on analysis results and based on logical architecture change, right? And then based on that, we check the impact on the solution architecture at current moment. We run analysis and we'll identify is this still satisfies the solution architecture. Maybe we need to change it. If we change it again, we can check that it new one is actually satisfies requirements. And then we provide results, communicate solution architecture by exporting uh, to the detailed design. So let's go for that uh, into the model. And uh, before going to the model, we'll go and change requirements and provide those requirements as a input to the model. So I will change this requirement here. Okay, done. Now let's go to the model here and we get uh, information that new version of requirements are available. So someone committed a new baseline of requirements and uh, I will not check uh, uh, upcoming changes, even I could actually. So let's check for upcoming changes before really uh, performing any change. Here you see there is a change, deplete duration requirement. So uh, that's okay. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll know now that is just going, going to change here. We can do a quick diff here and see, okay, that changed from 200 seconds to 190 seconds and uh, flow rate changed from five to six. That's what we see here based on the requirement update and I will update project. Okay, let's update the project based on new changes. Now I could run the change impact analysis using suspect links, so suspicious, and that will identify exact requirements uh, and uh, system requirements and uh, which are derived from stakeholder needs and system uh, model elements which are affected by this change. So for example, this element I can go here and show in the diagram where it is used. So here we see analysis context for the mass flow rate where we have water depletion analysis, where we have pumping system, where we have flow control, water storage, and uh, at current moment water storage was... Um, so now let's go and see what is the analysis results. Um, as you can see here that uh, there was uh, more than 125 liters or uh, 125 liters tank used and uh, 
because the mass flow, but because the duration was more than 200 required. Uh, and uh, the mass flow rate was 0 0.6, so we can uh, now change to 0 0.5. Uh, we'll need to update this uh, analysis. We can actually do it quicker uh, and uh, rerun the simulation. and rerun the simulation so let's go here evaluate and now we see that with new requirements 0 0.5 and uh, 190 seconds we see that uh, 100 liters uh, tank is enough so this is our new requirement for the for the system for the tank and let's go and see how that impacts actually our system architecture so we already went through our uh, problem domain updates we can actually for sure check the use cases here uh, that uh, ensure mass flow rate doesn't change here and that functional analysis stays the same that requirement is not affecting that. That would in impact other types of the change. If uh, there could be impact uh, on other parts of the model change, in this case it was just parameters which I actually transitioned in this analysis which we had here, water depletion duration analysis. Other things like uh, system logical architecture, system logical architecture is not affected. Just the properties of that logical architecture is affected. So now let's see how that affects system requirements. Here we go to system requirements and we see impacted requirements. So we see that this one is uh, impacted by stakeholder need change. So we change in appropriate way. If you don't know, you know what is the impact. We can always go here and show change and that will display what was actually changed in the stakeholder need. This one doesn't change. It was just like traceability from the, you see this relation was triggering this depletion duration, same requirement changed. So it was just uh, uh, triggering. So I will clear suspect. Actually, I can clear suspect here validation now when I did the change and I can clear suspect here when I did the change. So 100 liters. Okay, validation. Uh, clear suspect okay so now um, let's go and see that actually our solution architecture model uh, really satisfies this uh, requirement uh, so here we have solution architecture which is actually our injection system which has the all all components here is required and we can uh, uh, go to the again analysis of the solution architecture and uh, and see that it actually satisfies all the requirements so we'll execute it here and go through this injection system and we see here this requirement is not satisfied why is that because as you can see here it shows that uh, tank uh, is uh, supposed to be 100 liters and in our solution architecture is still selected as 130 liters what about other issues here we have uh, mass flow rate is also doesn't satisfy and another mass flow rate of some uh, uh, elements in our solution architecture does not satisfy requirements system architecture injection system and replace from the library to required components so let's go to the to the components library here we have tanks pipes uh, flow, rate, flow rate sensors uh, branches uh, pumps uh, heat sinks and valves everything under my uh, overview here and i will take the 100 liters tank this is my 100 liters tank and i replace here in the solution architecture now i will go to the next uh, is my two components which I was using for mass flow rate control and I will take uh, valves as you can see here this is 120 valve with the with the mass flow rate 0 0.5 that is what I need I replace it and I remap uh, those ports as required as you can see here this this creates enormous uh, usability interfaces are used uh, because they come from the original location 
plus uh, and uh, the common for components of that type plus the validation runs for between interfaces and checks automatically and update is really time less time consuming as system structure and uh, satisfy matrix between uh, system requirements and solution architecture and we'll just double check that it's correct so we'll go to the tank we'll see that uh, tank shall satisfy total uh, uh, water depletion the new tank uh, uh, here we have water requirement if i will move mouse so over it says 100 liters so i will satisfy with the new tank actually it should be from here value property and this one so uh, low control will satisfy and again we'll rerun the validation one more time run yes okay everything is satisfied so that's it so that was the change i now com commit the change to the model and uh, i can uh, share my architecture so next is to update requirements satisfy table we'll go and uh, remove the old uh, valves and old uh, tank here and work is done we can rerun uh, analysis to check that it still uh, satisfies all requirements so we see here for this one and for the valve uh, and mass flow rate valve here we also see we see also what requirements are satisfied okay so now let's go and implement uh, next change so the next change comes from the distance of the pipes go to the requirements here we'll get new version of requirements now we'll check the impact and just analyze uh, suspect links to show suspicious and uh, i see there is total length of the pipes requirement impact now we will check uh, impact of this uh, requirement change on the logical architecture here we see analysis for horse pump uh, uh, for power pump power uh, based on the length of the pipes uh, and based on the previous length 130 we see this was the required pump uh, with the margin five uh, percent margin so the total is 90 horsepower now we'll create a couple of new at least one new configuration and we'll call it uh, logical 1109-2020 we'll enter new length and this parametric model here is existing the model we run through this uh, but it could also come from the some external source so we run through this uh, configuration as we set up here evaluate and we get that um, it failed based on that zero uh, okay so 90 let's see will it still fail yeah still fail so now next pump inter uh, increment uh, 10 percent uh, uh, 10 uh, horsepower more and we see with this it passed so we have 10 uh, 100 uh, horsepower pump let's go and update system requirement uh, based on that we should see actually this requirement uh, still uh, in the model uh, failing uh, suspect link validation so validation uh, sus uh, not suit but uh, validation uh, suspect links uh, show suspicious uh, and i will go to that uh, total length of the pipes you see here if i will go here to the system requirements um, 130 right so let's go here and change that to 150 length of the pipes uh, and also new horsepower let's change to the 100 horsepower and let's rerun the uh, system analysis and uh, we'll see you know that uh, it, uh, it really satisfies so first of all i will re-execute the system so i will go to my physical system here and uh, pump horsepower actually 
here requirements verification i will execute my whole system model this is that uh, uh, model of the architecture and uh, i see that the uh, pump is old one so i need to replace it so i will go to my components library here uh, and components uh, and will replace that uh, to the new one so we'll go to pumps we'll see my pump uh, 100 uh, horsepower and we'll take it drag it and uh, it should replace and now if i will rerun here i should see no validation errors uh, and actually that reminds me that i need also to replace here in the satisfy because this new pump even i added it still does not change here because it old one had this satisfy relation created so i will um, remove this uh, pump horsepower from the old one and we'll add a new one pump horsepower let's rerun the validation check the pump all is okay so requirement is satisfied how about uh, length of the pipes so for that i have separate check here so let's go here and uh, here is pipe subsystem and uh, i need to change that uh, length of the pipes also so let's go here and uh, update the length of the pipes so i will go here and uh, I will decide which pipes to update so now currently those pipes as you can see here five uh, uh, meters five meters so maybe and then five meters five meters in those two branches maybe i will decide to actually update those uh, to the 10 meters so let's take the uh, selected 10 meters length pipe segment and let's update that here let's update that here let's update that here and let's update that here okay so now i have in total one uh, tenth uh, uh, one uh, fifty let's check that uh, it's correct i will just say here that uh, in my pipe subsystem i have zero five meters now and i have uh, four more uh, ten meters length pipes so simulation run and I see that this satisfies updated requirement. Okay, so I have updated architecture and this updated architecture I can see here, going through my structure, updated architecture, which now satisfies all the re selected requirements. And I now can add new version of the project uh, to the server and uh, to the uh, send to the detailed design.